What's up, y'all? Welcome to BB Talks Wrestle. Wrestling, I guess. Is that what, it, what I called it? I don't know. I'm going to think of a little bit a better, uh, a better um, title for my page. But for now, it's BB. BB Chronicles Podcast presents Let's Talk About Wrestling. Anyway, listen. I want to dive into this because I've been listening to a couple of uh, uh, podcasters uh, this weekend. And... I don't like I don't like what I'm hearing when it comes to when it comes to Leo Rush, Sasha Banks, and other wrestlers who want to come up out of the WWE specifically. Okay, I don't like what I'm hearing. I also don't care for the the this the blatant homophobia that I had saw displayed on one of the pages that I follow on Instagram. I want to touch on that real quick. Um, first of all, what I don't like in the case of Leo Rush, I'm pretty sure you already know the situation. If you don't, Leo Rush, they claim he got some backstage heat. They claim he cocky. They claim he, he, he won't carry the, the, the drinks and the food for the vets and all this bullshit that he's supposed to be doing instead of just going to work and getting paid like every motherfucker who got a job. Okay. I don't care for the way y'all going about this. And it's funny because a lot of people don't like to say racism. You say racism, especially in wrestling, is like it's like a landmine or something. But y'all go on and on and on about discriminatory behavior. Oh well, you know, Charlotte, she got big tits and a big ass and and and, and uh Alexa Bliss got her titties done and that's why and you're never gonna see an Asian and you're never gonna see a black and you know but the moment somebody say well that's racism it's uh oh no 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 Mm -mm. no that can't be racism because that's too heavy WWE has some discriminatory practices that have been going on for forever for as long as WWE has been been happening they storylines are racially charged Pri- even before you go breaking down Booker T, racially charged storylines, the the stereotypes they use when it's a, a a a wrestler of another ethnicity. You got motherfuckers who ain't Japanese acting Japanese. You got motherfuckers who ain't uh, Samoan just gonna be Samoan because they chubby and look beige. Samoa Joe because he's not Samoan. If anybody didn't realize that. Kofi Kingston, he's of African descent, born in Ghana, acting like a Jamaican because he got dreadlocks and he's dark skinned and he could put on a Jamaican accent, I guess. Doesn't diminish his talent, but that's just the range of this company. Speaking of which, you had the issue with Luke Harper, who's from fucking the East Coast. Vince didn't like him or got sour on him. Because he couldn't do a southern accent. You know why? Because Vince's range is that of a a racist ass dude from Connecticut. From the New England states. And I'ma say it. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Why would you want Luke Harper to do a, a fucking southern accent unless you're trying to piece together some type of country yokel? I don't understand why why some of y'all don't get offended by that anyway. It's already stereotypes about WWE's audience, historical. Only people who watch wrestling historically are poor, slack-jawed, alcoholic, women-beaten, undereducated, trailer-trash white people. That has been the audience. That's why when you go back and you look at old wrestling, ain't no, ain't no whole bunch of diversity in that audience. You might see a black person here there, but for the most part, nah, B. We ain't out there like chats. Like, we trying to get out there now. Because on the indie scene, there's a lot of black wrestlers on the indie scene. I don't even know why. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm driving. And the, the, the rage was going to come out. So, anyway, Leo Rush. I, for one, I think some, I think people have it real fucked up to tell somebody else what they think they deserve. I keep hearing people say he don't deserve this, he don't deserve that. Just because you're 
self-esteem is shot the fucking hell and you don't think you deserve anything and you don't know your self-worth you don't tell nobody else what they think they deserve you understand they offer leo wash three hundred thousand dollars now the discrepancy is 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 it three hundred thousand dollars per year or is three hundred thousand dollars over a five year span if (coughs) if that's the case that's sixty thousand dollars a year that ain't no fucking money when you got this man who got a wife and two kids okay and he got to do all his expenses he got to do all his hotel rooms and i can tell y'all right now mark henry he's not spending money on hotels because there's plenty of times where he was doing um he was doing lives with his fans which are so funny and his hotel room was a regular ass hotel room so mark henry for you to say well he don't know if he don't know how to spend his money you big fat dumbass Maybe you should figure out how much his money is. And, I, I you know, it, it, it really hurt me to hear Booker T and Mark Henry specifically literally just jam Leo Rush. As if y'all don't know what the fuck is he was looking, what the fuck he was going through or what it's like. It, it, it really bothered me because Booker T and I, I'm a Booker T fan. Long time, long time Booker T fan. But he's just, he's just so, he's just so on the fence with everything. And it's just, oh, man, you know, those guys down there, you know, they were good, to, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just wanted to get in there with the guys and with the fellas. And it's just some things you got to do. No, it don't. No, it don't. You don't got to do nothing in order to get in good with people. I don't know what it is with men in the locker room and y'all and this fucking hazing or or uh what you want to call it a rookie uh gauntlet people gotta go through y'all grown motherfucking men the whole point of high school well it's for you to learn but apparently there are rituals that are allowed in high school and just and you know swept to the side oh it's just high school until somebody kills themselves but anyway you know when you got to get abused and shit because you a freshman where the where the the soft the, the seniors and shit can abuse you because you're a freshman oh you got to do this you got to do that you got to do this because you're a freshman and when you become a sophomore and you out the woods you shouldn't that shouldn't even be a thing because freshmen ain't but 15 fucking years old they just got out of eighth grade leo rush is 22 y'all fast track leo rush if you thought he was so arrogant and cocky and got why did you take him out of nxt apparently you like what he was given okay now i don't like i said i don't know leo rush personally don't none of y'all do for the most part but everybody got these strong ass opinions of him and sasha banks because they asking for respect and they know their self-worth and somehow that's become a bad word vince mcmahon was going to give the revival five hundred thousand dollars a piece whether it's per year or over the span, I'm not sure. 500 k per a piece to keep them on the roster so they don't go to another promotion. They said no, and now they're being humiliated, which is literally against the fucking law. <coughs> workplace aggression in any other workplace is against the law. <coughs> but at the WWE, oh, that's just what we do. That fucking company sounds as toxic as a goddamn vat of of sludge running off a nuclear plant. Y'all don't go by the proper terms of independent contractors. You don't give these people health care. You don't pay for their rooms and boards. NXT does because they know them folks ain't making that, a, a whole bunch of money down there. But NXT does pay for their room and boards, so I've heard. I read the same dirt sheets a lot of y'all reading, and I don't know what the fuck y'all are looking at or listening to, but it, it's insane to me. What's allowed to happen and what y'all think is cool. Oh, well, he he ain't got no respect because he's supposed to carry. No, and then Leo Rush brought up a, a very important, important point on visuals. 
This is the United States of America. And you can sit here and say oh, you don't know nothing about racism because you white and you don't experience it. And that's fine. Racism is alive and well. It's, 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 it's as American as apple motherfucking pie. Okay? Whether you like to hear that shit or not, that's what it is. With that being said, uh, Leo Rush said, I'm, I'm, I, you want me to carry people's bags and shit. And I'm a short, tiny little black dude carrying these big white men's bags looking like a bitch or a, a, a fucking bellhop. That don't look good for me when then I go on TV and I'm as cocky as they can be. He's absolutely correct. But y'all so, oh, well, that's tradition. There's <coughs> a lot of shit with tradition that's been abolished. Child labor was tradition. Y'all was working kids till they died. That was tradition. That's done with. So why, why do it? Does a grown man have to go into the workplace and be hazed, man or woman? Because I have yet to hear about the women's locker room. What y'all got bitches out there pulling tampons out? Because oh well, you're new, so you have to scrub my ass. Like what? I don't see why that's 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 not even a thing. Randy Orton. They said he was digging down in his pants after wrestling matches in his trunks, gripping his dick, and making of uh, uh, freshman writers shake his hand. And if they didn't shake his hand, he was like, "You know who I am. I'm Randy Orton. You know I got a legacy. And if you don't shake my hand, so they gotta shake his dick hands. Y'all think that makes sense? I'm grown as fuck, and I'm coming to work, and I got this fucking." Big giant wild ass uh, fucking wrestler coming over to me. Talking about I'm ready. You know, his hands looking moist and fucking wet and musty. Talking about I got you got to shake. I got to shake your hand. Okay, now nah, I give you a pound. You don't know if I got OCD or what. But no, that's just the way it is. That's a, you got to pay your dues and you got to pay. Fuck that pay dues shit. I paid my dues when I when the, when I went to college, and those wrestlers paid their dues when they go through the indies and they go through all these fucking different promotions to get to the granddaddy of them all. Mark Henry's like, oh, I, I saw him in the in the uh in the the, the the locker room, and I said, hey Leo, you got anything you want to tell me because it's a lot of stuff going on, and you and Leo said, nah, I, I ain't nothing going on. So, you know how many people tell people there ain't nothing going on? <coughs> he lied straight to my face. That's what Mark Henry said. He lied to my face. It ain't about race. It's about ego. That's what Mark Henry said. Leo Rush said, it, it's, the situation don't have to be about race. But him being a black dude carrying a bunch of big white men's bags looks terrible. And it does. That's it. And if Leo Rush wants to make it about race, he sure the fuck can. He sure the fuck can. Because WWE has been making it about race for 30 something years. And they know that their weak ass audience of yokels are just going to be like, yeah, that ain't about race. It ain't about race because The Rock, The Rock, he, he black and he was the WWE champ. No, 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 no. No, we can have a discussion about that another time. No, we're not going to do it, okay? Well, it ain't about race because there was there was three black women in 1976. Yeah, okay. The fucking company been open for 50 years, and you tell me about three black women from 40 years ago. Get, like, get the fuck out of here, all right? Look what, look what they're doing to the Japanese talent. Look what they do to Naomi. Look what they do in the Ember fucking Moon. All superior talent. There's now a Chinese girl down at NXT. I think her name is Shu Lin X I A L I or something like that. This bitch is doing twisting and turning. Her her gear is so ethnic and beautiful. It's, it's Chinese and the Japanese girls' gear is colorful and they Chinese, they Japanese. And then you got Naomi's glowing in her blackness. And then you got Ember Moon, who's a a, a, a war goddess, and she flipping it. Y'all just, but here you are over here with Alexa Bliss, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bless your world and God, I got a lot. Yeah, 
That's why Sasha Banks left. Sasha Banks didn't leave because of some fucking fake ass titles. No, she left because y'all keep playing fucking games with her. The bitch wakes up in the morning to go to work and, and gets her day, gets the day started. And y'all tell her one thing for months and months and months and months. And y'all got these women out here with these belts on. And they're going all over the place having a good time talking about, oh, we're going to defend these belts. And these belts are going to be this, this, and this. And then come WrestleMania, you give it to the biggest fucking clowns in the whole company. Yeah, they, they, they got mic skills and they, they know how to get yeah, great. No. They can't wrestle. And because they can't wrestle, they're making other people look like they can't wrestle. You calling her botches, uh, uh, Sasha Botcha, whatever the fuck y'all calling uh, Sasha Banks because these people can't wrestle. Y'all call Becky Bocci because the bitch fucking what's her name? Uh, Foxy couldn't fucking do a, a, a hurricane or what the fuck she was trying to do and, and and it messed up people mess up so what and you know what alicia fox is one story that i would sit and really break down because i just don't understand why that woman is in the position she's in she's not a mid card she's not a top card she's not even on the card they roll her out she act a fool and she go out her business i don't know what the woman's getting paid just to be there I don't even know and she's so pretty and long and got the legs and she's got the look and they just don't do anything with her and it's sad it's sad you give her a great storyline Nikki James is there for what y'all ran an angle with her and Alexa Bliss Alexa Bliss calling her elderly and she she's grandma and she got old titties and all this you know Mickey James is what 37 38 39 years old I, I listen if if 39 is elderly then it's, it's gonna be a problem real soon for a lot of us stepping into our 40s in the next few years because I need to get myself together so I can prepare to get my social security when I turn 40 fucking years old in my retirement that's the angle Y'all sitting here letting these people humiliate the revival. Revival's just like, yo, I'm just going to get my dough. I don't even give a fuck. You want Luke Harper to talk in the fucking Southern accent. You want him to talk in the Southern accent because of the way he looks. Everybody in the South don't look like that, surprisingly. They really don't. So you want him to come out there, you're hurt, like, like fucking Cletus from the fucking The Simpsons. Because he got a big long beard and, and he looked dirty and musty. You won't even give him the opportunity to even make his own character everybody's saying how great luke harper is of a wrestler unless you watch nxt you ain't gonna fucking know it and that's just the facts of the matter so i don't know i just don't like the way y'all talking about leo rush I, it's a lot of undertones it's a lot of uh words that's going on then there was this one, Mark Henry is just a dumbass to all together. He's going to use this weird fucking example, which wasn't even a good example. He's going to say, Chris Jericho, uh, 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 <coughs> Chris Jericho got through wrestling, came out, gave the wrestler he was wrestling and the, the referee some water and he had himself some water and they drank water. Mark Henry said that's showing respect. Yeah, that's showing respect to the people you just wrestled with, to the mat, the match official. It was a good match here. You guys, y'all thirsty? Boom. That's not what Leo Rush was talking about, you dumb fucking ass. He said y'all want him to carry cases of fucking water around, stand at the gorilla, which is it's like the 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 if you don't know what gorilla position is, it's like um the the what do you call it? The the motherboard right off of the curtains when they come out with their music they're right there watching the show from the back and they're feeding whatever they want to feed to the people who's on live that's called gorilla so y'all want leo rush to stand there and give every wrestler who has clout to come out and give them water so they can feel like get the fuck out of here everybody's like oh he he's he got talent. Ain't no denying that. He's talented, boy. He got talent, more talented his pinky than Roman Reigns. But, oh, he's cocky. Oh, yeah, he's got to get humble. 
Ho, ho, fuck all that humble and humility. The fuck y'all think this is? The 1800s? When motherfuckers gotta humble themselves to get some bread? That man could go anywhere he fucking wants and make it. But everybody signs to the WWE because that's the promotion. That's the granddaddy promotion. That's when you're going to make money. WWE is like graduating college and going on to motherfucking the master's degree. We all know that. That's why people keep going there. But they go in there to be abused and hazed. And, and and ran down because this Vincent man is is just an old white man. That's it. Nothing more. That's it. He ain't no fucking genius. He took the company from his father and literally does, is running the shit into the ground. Does that make him a genius? Absolutely not. No, it don't. No. Just like Kanye West ain't a fucking genius because he could okay. Because he could take some fucking samples and say and, and hit buttons on a on a, a, a mixer and y'all talk about oh I'm not out no the condition of the WWE right now is absolutely terrible and I can't wait for all elite I watched their or uh their double or nothing I watched the 14 uh episodes real they real fast good episodes good production they're ready to roll and that one promo Cody and his brother Dustin cut on each other please Please, please. I don't even the, the, that the promotion of that main event for their uh, paper for their pay per view out in Las Vegas was better than anything WD has WWE has produced in the last year. Cody Rhodes said he wants to destroy the Attitude Era. You know what? I want him to too because you motherfuckers is locked in on that and you won't let nobody grow. Destroy that shit. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all there with that. This is BB Chronicles presents Wrestle Talk, Wrestling Talk, and we'll figure that out later. Thanks for listening, and good luck, Leo. I like you. <laughs>